Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider and welcome back to Let's Play Mole Mania. Today we're going to be tackling level 5. This is really the only interesting boss in the game. One that actually takes a little bit of strategy to kill. Uh, the underground, you can see there is a recovery potion that we cannot get to. And as you can expect, this level loops around. This introduces a new enemy. You gotta watch yourself when you go underground or you can get hit by one of these guys. You don't have to use a barrel here, but it helps. It's simple enough just to... Oh, killed it, and didn't even mean to. The first few rooms of each level are always easy. You can go underground and track these guys' movements. I don't think it's really that big a help, though. If you dig your own paths farther, the enemies will follow them. Uh, ice doesn't bother you at all. You can use the holes these guys make. You can hide in the hole that they jump out of and you won't get hurt. And this is the first hard room. Um, if you did this, if you did level 4 before coming here, you should remember how to do this trick quite easily. Well, let's move that cabbage into a hole first so we can get credit for it. I'm just trying to remember what you have to do to get uh, to get the ball over here, but this is the same concept as that one 31 hole room in level four. Sorry about that. I had a little brain fart. You don't even have to use all the barrels. <coughs> this is another one of those rooms where you gotta watch yourself. Yeah, they hurt if you uh, get them on the way, on the other way. Whatever. I, I can always go back if I need to get health. Or just do that. I thought I saw uh, the compass up here. Oh, I need to get there from the other room. And there was a heart down there anyway. The levels at this point are pretty simple. Uh, oh, that's right. There are enemies here. We actually have to do something. They're sure giving us plenty of hearts for this point in the game, though. Moving on. We've already reached the first checkpoint. That surprises me. Oh, that is funny. Huh. They changed the music on here. 
or not the music, but the uh, the background color. Let's see if we can't not kill one of these guys. Yeah, I got one of them. And he's coming up and get him too. Uh, we can get to the other side of that, but I don't think that's going to help. Oh yeah, it does. It does. Just got to come up here. That trick you learn from solving three block puzzles in video games, it it gets repeated a lot in here. Um, I'm referencing mainly Zelda. Uh, I forget how you get the barrel past uh, past here. Oh, I know what you have to do. That was not good. It's not going to hurt, but it's not going to help either. Yeah, you just got to get the ball past the starting point. I got a little bit confused on this room. It's got a pretty simple concept, though. It's just annoying. There we go. And then we just have to do the same with the black ball. And we can get it right to the exit. There's a guy uh, in the underground there for no reason. Other than to piss you off when you try to dig up a hole and push a ball next to the door. And I can't go around that way, so... <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <sighs> Damn it. I just knew I was going to... You're kidding me. I just fucked myself. Be right back, guys.